my name is Rebecca and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are not only walking through everything that I got from the Simone Rashad H&M collection, but we're also going to be styling them together. But first, if you like bold fashion and a nod towards sustainability, this is definitely the right place for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, of course, you can always find me on all of the social channels at Rebecca in Europe. I'm an American living life in Germany and happy to share that as well as styling tips with you. So today, we have kind of a new concept for a video, which I'm really excited about, which is we're actually gonna do styling together. I'm gonna try on the pieces, and then I have some accessories here. Um, I have a white shirt, a leather jacket, and some other pieces to show you how I'd actually wear these pieces uh, walking down the street. So Simone Rashad does have a very bold view on fashion. She mixes textures. Some of the pieces are a little bit more out there. And when I was chatting with my sister, she's like, but where, where would you wear them? And that is exactly what I'm trying to bridge here, is to try to make these things a little bit more accessible so that we can have fun with fashion. And so you're not intimidated by wearing pieces that um, might be a little bit louder in your closet. So let's get started. First up, we're gonna look at this incredible dress that has both this kind of pearl detailing, it's sheer underneath this nice tartan plaid. We have mixed textures here, which are very classic of Simone Rashad, and I think this is just a gorgeous piece. I'm gonna start with this because this is probably one of the easiest to wear pieces in the collection outside of some of the tops, um, and let me show you why. Okay, so I'm wearing this first dress. It, again, has great mixed textures. I feel like it's pretty easy to wear. There are pockets, although I always have to look to find them. But I really enjoy these mixed textures and the details here. So how I would style this, I think this is super easy. I would add my chunky Valentino boots and then to kind of top it off, I would add a leather jacket. Now I do think this is a little bit predictable from a styling standpoint, but it's classic and it works so well together. And on Simone Shaw's collection um, for fall 2021, she did a great job of layering with leather jacket. So this is how I would style this. And with these boots, it's walkable, it's practical, and you can really wear this anywhere. Okay, next up might be my favorite combination. So I'll talk through these two here. Hello, princess pink. Um, I know a lot of people whose younger selves would be like, oh my gosh, this dress is a dream. This is very girly for me in particular. I do love the tool under layers here. You can really fluff them up, kind of create more shape here and make this skirt as big or as small as you want. And there are pockets in the front. Now I have my Valentino boots with this, but I probably, if I was just going to keep this as something to wear on my own, probably wouldn't keep it because I'm not really going to style it like this. Just personally, it's too, too girly for me. But then if you look at Simone Rochelle's runways, there are instances where just like a pink dress walks down the runway, but more often than not, it's edged up a little bit. So let's do that exact same thing with this overlayer piece. And wow, what a killer statement this is. Um, I'm big on like the sleeve push up, so I would probably do that. Since this is gathered in the front, it still gives you the shape. And this is definitely like entering into the dark romance category here. Um, I do have the chunky boots on. I probably would go for adding the earrings here at this point. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add two different headbands. Just throw them on top. So now we have like a very, this was super girly. It's still kind of girly, but she has a lot more edge. So let's take a look at this look. So this to me is so much more fun and wearable. And while you're like, so are you going to the grocery store on this? Oh, oh heck yes. Especially, especially with these boots, like with this situation. So this to me is actually much more wearable than just the pink dress on its own. And I love this combination. Pink dress kind of stands on its own really well. So let's see what else we can do with this black um, sheer overlayer. Cause I think this is actually the more intimidating piece for a lot of people. So first up, I am going to grab some bike shorts and a button up shirt. And let's see what we can do. Okay, so I have those on. So my logic here is we all have like a pair of biker shorts and just a white shirt in our closet. So let me show you how I would wear this. 
Okay, so I just knotted the shirt, but this is such a cool look. Like how amazing is this? So I just have a button up shirt underneath and I'm using the sleeves from that shirt to keep these sleeves rolled up. I just tied it in a knot in the front so you can see my bike shorts. So then you just have kind of this pants look, pantsless look going on. And then this just killer overlay. Like this to me is so super wearable. Again, just wearing my Valentino chunky boots. And I think I almost even like it worn like this, more so than over the pink dress. But then that's also kind of my personal styling preference. So let's see if we can basically repurpose this look to pair it with this tool top as well. So that this pink tool top would look incredible over this pink kind of baby doll dress that I was just wearing. But I think also we want to find ways to wear it with other things. So over just like an oversized shirt, same bike shorts. It works really nicely. And then what I would actually do if I wanted to kind of make it even more fun is I would take this really amazing sequin little bustier number and I would layer it over the top. Ooh, we got it on, no help. <laughs> okay, I really do like this. I would actually put this off the shoulder here because that's more of how Simona Shaw actually does her styling. And we just have like the coolest top. We're ready to go on a walk. Like this is so much fun. I personally though, with this bustier, I have a super short torso. So I actually enjoy tucking this little ruffle underneath. But what an absolutely epic look here. Super wearable. Don't tell me that you're not wearing biker shorts and just like an oversized shirt to the grocery store. And then you can just add a little fun here. Um, another note on this pink top, this is really easy to wear. You just throw it over a black, black tank top and a pair of jeans. Like that to me is the most relatable way to wear it. But we're trying to really have some fun here. So this is a really great look. Next, I have these tartan pants. And I'm trying to resist the urge to just put them on with this because I feel like we already have such a fun look going on here that adding the pants is just gonna kind of seal it off. So, so let me try something else here. I'm usually not the biggest fan of showing a lot of skin and since this top is completely sheer, you do see a little bit of my stomach and then of course, pretty much my full back. If you wanted to not show skin and basically do this same look, what I would just do is put a white t-shirt underneath. It's really not going to um, mess with the impact of the look at all. And then that way you aren't showing any skin through here if you're uncomfortable with that. But I happen to have a very short torso. So you put a high waist like these super fun little tartan pants and then you have a even slight like bustier here and my stomach is pretty much already covered. So I could roll it up so you see a little bit more if I wanted to be extra sassy. But this is just such a fun little look. I took off that shirt that was underneath. You could have left the shirt on with it. Um, but just trying to show you so many different ways to wear these. These pants are just a blast with this extra ruffle. They have pockets. They're really comfortable. I always size up, just a note on size, H&M collections, limited collections. I'll almost always take an eight in their pants. I'm usually like a six, but I find they run really small. So these were, were pretty pretty well sized on me. They're super comfortable. So that would be an EU 40. Um, but yeah, this is such a fun look. I'm just really loving this. Well, I love a personal story when it comes to clothing. So back when I was working at Nordstrom in their corporate office, I remember when um, Simona Shaw's collection first got picked up by the space department. So it was an emerging designers section in Nordstrom and a version of this dress was one of the first pieces that Nordstrom carried and I remember being just so in love with it not being able to afford it but just thinking it was just an epic fabulous piece so for me coming full circle being able to own this dress is pretty special and I, I was so excited when I saw that she was recreating it for the H&M cloud so I'm very excited to have this as part of my collection in a bunch of the H&M styling, they had actually worn this over this pink dress. And that to me isn't quite enough contrast. I really like it over this more like red gingham. So let me show you. Oh, but first of all, I think this dress is absolutely fantastic on its own. 
unlike the pink one, which might be a little girly, but I could throw some accessories on and make that work. This is just like a one and done running and go. I have these big top shop platforms on right now, but with a flat pair of boots, I mean, such an easy, easy dress. But when you throw, I don't need to take the tags off. When you throw this sheer guy over, it just gets even cooler. Like how, how amazing is this? I, I just want to wear this everywhere. How fun. Okay, so if I had to add one more thing, so there's the pearl detail down here. I do have this headband from my accessory days at Nordstrom and it's just a super fun piece to wear all together. Yeah, so okay, okay, I'm done, bye. <laughs> just kidding, but I, I really don't want to take this off. This is absolutely just all right, so a nice, easy way to make this an even sassier look, provide a little bit more shoulder coverage if that's up your alley. But yeah, again, this is just a dream, a dream dress, and it's so easy um, to wear. And then I guess if you wanted to add one more layer, and again, so much freaking fun. Um, again, what I could do here is pull this down. You can crop this a little bit more just by tucking it under absolutely killer look again I'm, I'm ready for for absolutely anything here this this dress is just this is so much fun so I just have the collar pulled out here apologize I'll give you some more light hello okay this is so much fun so I just have it over a shirt of mine that's mango with the collar peeking out and then I have this really old Balenciaga um, little mini skirt underneath, some statement boots, but wow, this just is so much fun. Yeah. I definitely could have worn this skirt underneath here as well. I just wanted to give you an example of some things that were already in my closet that didn't come with the collection to just show you that you can mix and match with things that have absolutely nothing to do with Simone Rashad and they look epic. So. <laughs> So now let's try on this skirt and see what we can do with it. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life with this collection. So I layered the beaded little bustier underneath this um, sheer piece. And then I layered this skirt over top. So I'm not completely naked, but it gives you a little bit of that vibe. And this is just so, oh, this is falling off. Just so you guys know, I only can reach the lowest hook, so I'm only doing the lowest hook. Um, in, in real life, I would have my husband help me so I can make sure I got all of them, but for right now, it's just on the lowest hook. But how freaking fun. I don't know why I'm wearing this. Maybe the supermarket? Probably to go do something absolutely fabulous. Maybe stroll through a park or something, but I'm gonna look good doing it, that's for sure. Okay, this skirt is super fun. I decided to dress it down a little bit by throwing on some Jordans with it um, to just give it a little bit more casual of a vibe. But then of course I threw a sequin bustier on top, so that kind of kills that. But really, I think this is actually one of the easiest pieces to wear. Basically treat it like it's a regular black skirt and it goes with almost anything. Now it's almost like more of a neoprene, um, a more structured material that dresses it down almost a little bit. So that's why I really think it goes well nicely with a sneaker, but you could just as easily, you know, just throw on whatever with this and it really, it really just works well. Okay, the last pieces are two dresses. So let's see what we can do here. So this first one, Probably is, is one of the pieces that I saw. I was like, okay, this is very girly, very princessy. Um, I'm not entirely sure that this one is my style. So let's see what we can do with it. So this dress is very pretty. It's very kind of balletic with its princess seams here in the front and this little scooping of, of the dress. It really reminds me of Regency Corps, which is a huge trend this year, which is basically Bridgerton. So that's why I threw on these gloves. So my initial impulse with a dress like this is to say it's a little bit too girly for me. Let me kind of grunge it up a little bit, but indulge me for a moment. Let's actually do the opposite. So how can we Bridgertonize this? Well, first I have the gloves. Let me add a nice statement necklace there. And here, let me add a couple of headbands. 
And there we have it. I am I'm ready for the ball. So this is super fun. I, I do very much enjoy this look. Is this something I'm necessarily wearing um, to the grocery store? Unlikely. Okay, so here's, here's our very pretty moment. And now let's see how I would probably style this. We're getting there. Gonna add the earrings. Okay, so that feels like it's a little bit more intentional of a look. I have on my chunky Valentino boots. So I do really love this with the bustier on top. I think it just balances it out perfectly. You have your still really feminine elements that I had on my chunky boots. And then with the earrings and the top, yeah, this totally works for me and makes this a dress that I'm much more likely to wear just wherever um, and feel really comfy in. Well, shoot, this was the one, the one dress that uh, before this when I was trying on, I was like, I don't, I'm not sure I love it. It's really, I love the cotton, um, but it's quite voluminous. But now as I'm seeing it with kind of the shorter hem with the statement Valentino boots, I, I feel like there's a lot of potential here. I like to add a really chunky necklace because what that tends to do is kind of break the line of the front and so that it actually hugs a little bit closer to your body. Granted, you need a really heavy necklace, but luckily I happen to have one. So if I do this, and then, heck, let's go for some headbands here. Okay, I think I'm feeling it. This has become so fun. What an easy piece on a breezy day when you just feel like looking fabulous and then throw on a chunky boot. Wow. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my other styling videos. I love showing you multiple ways to wear things. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will absolutely make sure to get back to you. And for me and my Simone Rochelle H&M items, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.